scientific progress has led us to achieve incredible advancements, curing diseases, exploring space, and extending our lives. However, not every discovery has been born from light. There is a dark side to the history of science, a territory where ethics are abandoned in favor of ambition, and where knowledge is pursued at the cost of suffering, fear, and in some cases, humanity itself. Today, we invite you on a chilling journey through six of the most disturbing experiments in history. One by one, we will reveal them, from the least terrifying to the most horrifying, cases where progress turned into a nightmare. These are not tales meant to scare you, but real events that took place in the name of science. And as we move forward, each step will take you closer to the abyss where ethics were forgotten, leaving behind a trail of pain and questions that may never have answers. Number six. We begin this list with an experiment that sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but is completely real. In the sixth position, we delve into the unsettling world of mental connections between humans and animals. How far are we willing to go to control nature? In South Korea, a group of neuroscientists and engineering experts developed a brain-computer interface system that allowed humans to control the movements of turtles, using only their thoughts. Yes, you heard that right. Humans directing animals with their minds. The experiment was simple in its purpose, but deeply unsettling in its implications. Researchers equipped the turtles with AC Borg device that included a camera, a Wi-Fi transceiver, and a black cage designed to trigger the animal's instinct to flee. Human participants wearing EEG headsets and virtual reality screens sent brain signals to the device on the turtles, forcing them to move in specific directions within a maze. Although the experiment was approved by ethical authorities, the turtles did not emerge emotionally unscathed. The system manipulated their natural instinct to escape, generating controlled fear. Researchers successfully guided them through obstacles, but what truly makes us reflect is the potential applications of this technology. Throughout history, we have used animals in military conflicts. Bats strapped with bombs, dolphins trained to detect mines, and even anti-tank dogs. But this experiment takes that tradition to an entirely new level. Imagine a future where animals could be used as spies, weapons, or tools of war, all under human mental control. The possibilities are as terrifying as they are real. While this experiment is not the most terrifying on this list, it raises disturbing questions about the use of technology in natural life. If we are already capable of controlling the movements of a living being, what limits will remain in the future? How far are we from completely manipulating nature at our will? Number five. Experiment number six showed us the unsettling potential of mind control, even if it was only over animals. But now, let's take a deeper step toward the boundary between life and death, where scientific ambition dares to challenge the most fundamental concept, irreversibility. Get ready, because number five takes us to an experiment that sounds as hopeful as it is disturbing, reviving the human brain. In 2016, Dr. Himanshu Bansal, an orthopedic surgeon from India, presented a plan that seemed straight out of a science fiction novel. His proposal, to bring back life to the brain of people who had been clinically declared brain dead. According to Bansal, even a few seconds of consciousness could give families one last chance to say goodbye, and also help doctors better understand the mysteries of brain death. The project, called Reanima, brought Bansal together with a Philadelphia-based company, BioQuark Inc., specialized in regenerative biology. The plan was ambitious, to inject mesenchymal stem cells along with special peptides directly into the brain, in addition to using laser stimulation and advanced nerve technology in an attempt to restore minimal brain function. The problem? Everything. From the lack of suitable animal models to serious ethical concerns, Bansell claimed that there was no way to replicate brain death in animals, so his first trial had to be conducted directly on humans but his lack of real experience and his history of questionable publications raised red flags. The experiment was blocked not due to ethics or science, but because of bureaucracy. 
the Indian Council of Medical Research detected irregularities in the project, including the lack of essential permits. But that doesn't stop disturbing questions from arising. What would have happened if Bansal had been able to continue? How close are we to a technology that challenges the very concept of death? For now, the experiment has been shelved, but not without leaving a chill in the scientific community. Because if someone else manages to check all the right boxes in the paperwork, this idea could resurface, and who knows what implications it might bring for humanity. If reviving the human brain already pushed the limits of ethics and science, what comes next is no less shocking. In our next entry, we explore an experiment that shaped the lives of three people from the moment they were born. Get ready for a story of scientific manipulation, secrets, and tragedy. Number 4. Sometimes the most chilling experiments don't involve laboratories or chemicals, but rather human lives manipulated from birth. In the fourth position, we explore a story that begins with an unexpected reunion and ends up exposing one of the darkest secrets of modern science. An improbable coincidence, three identical brothers separated as babies, and an experiment that remained hidden for decades. Get ready to uncover the disturbing case of the triplets, an experiment that will make you question everything you thought you knew about ethics and family. It all began in 1980, when 19-year-old Robert Shaffron arrived at his new college. What he expected to be the start of an exciting chapter turned into an inexplicable mystery. Everyone seemed to recognize him, even though he had never met them before. Soon he would discover the reason. He had an identical twin brother named Edward Galland. The reunion between Robert and Edward felt like a miracle, but the story didn't end there. Shortly after, another young man, David Kelman, realized that he not only shared a physical resemblance with them, but also a genetic connection. These three young men were triplets, separated at birth. Why? The answer would lead them to uncover one of the most disturbing experiments of the 20th century. The triplets had been part of a secret study led by the National Institute of Mental Health. The researchers, headed by psychiatrists Peter Neubauer and Viola Bernard, aimed to explore the classic question of nature versus nurture. How much does environment influence personality development? To find out, they deliberately separated the triplets and placed them in families of different socioeconomic backgrounds, without informing the adoptive parents that their children had identical siblings. For years, the researchers secretly studied the brothers' development, but the effects were devastating. From an early age, all three showed signs of anxiety and unusual behaviors, such as headbanging and extreme tantrums. As they grew older, they struggled with mental health issues that led to psychiatric hospitalizations. And most disturbingly, the scientists, fully aware of these struggles, never intervened to help them. When the triplets finally reunited by chance, they became a media sensation, appearing on television shows and in magazines. But the joy of their reunion was soon overshadowed by the emotional scars left by the experiment. In 1995, Edward Galland, who suffered from bipolar disorder, took his own life, a tragic reminder of the damage caused by this study. The experiment's lead researcher, Peter Neubauer, never published his findings. The documents were sealed at Yale University, locked away until 2065. However, the damage had already been done. The triplets experiment holds the fourth spot on this list because it not only exposed the deep emotional and psychological scars that scientific studies can inflict, but also highlighted the dangers of treating human lives as mere pieces in an experiment. It was a chilling reminder of how ambition can blind ethics. But while position number four was based on documented facts, position number three takes us to the limits between reality and the unknown. A story shrouded in conspiracies, disappearances, and technology that seemed impossible for its time. Number three, is it possible for an entire ship to vanish from the face of the earth and return, bringing horror with it? Get ready to uncover the chilling Philadelphia experiment. In 1943, at the height of World War II, VY conducted one of the most enigmatic and terrifying experiments ever recorded. According to reports, at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, scientists attempted the impossible, making a ship completely invisible to enemy radar and perhaps even to the human eye. The experiment revolved around the USS Eldridge, 
an escort destroyer. Supposedly using a massive electromagnetic field, the ship disappeared from Philadelphia, only to briefly reappear in Norfolk, Virginia, more than 300 kilometers away, before returning to its original location. But the real nightmare wasn't the teleportation. It was what happened to the crew. Witnesses claim that many sailors suffered horrific effects. Some were literally fused with the ship's structure, others disappeared forever, and those who survived were left psychologically shattered, committed to asylums for the rest of their lives. The story surfaced years later when a man named Carlos Allende sent letters detailing the experiment to researcher Morris Ketchum Jessup. According to Allende, he had witnessed the event from a nearby ship. As unbelievable as his account seemed, his descriptions were so specific that they could not be ignored. But was it real? To this day, there is no conclusive evidence, and the U.S. Navy denies that anything like it ever took place. However, the Philadelphia experiment remains one of history's most unsettling cases, fueling conspiracy theories involving teleportation, invisibility, and technology ahead of its time. The Philadelphia experiment takes the number three spot for being one of the most disturbing and controversial stories in modern history. Whether it truly happened or not remains a mystery, but the idea of a military experiment that defied the laws of physics, causing the disappearance and destruction of human lives, leaves an indelible mark on our collective imagination. But if you thought military science had reached its limits with the Philadelphia experiment, think again. Number two takes us to another case that, though disguised as an extraterrestrial accident, could be the story of a covert experiment with consequences far more sinister than we ever imagined. Number 2. When we talk about Roswell, it's almost inevitable to think of aliens and flying saucers. But what if all of this was just a smokescreen? What if what really happened in the summer of 1947 wasn't an encounter with beings from another world, but a military experiment that went terribly wrong? This entry invites us to look beyond the myths and into the chilling possibility of a human cover-up. In July 1947, something crashed at the Foster Ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. The official story spoke of a weather balloon, while rumors pointed to an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Decades of conspiracy theories and fantastic accounts kept the mystery alive. But declassified FBI documents and military testimonies have revealed a much more plausible and disturbing scenario. The FBI noticed striking parallels between flying saucer sightings and Japanese fire balloons known as Fugo. These balloons, used during World War II, were designed to cause havoc as they drifted across the Pacific Ocean. However, in Roswell, it wasn't just about balloons. Investigations suggest that the U.S. military was testing experimental versions of these devices, inspired by captured technology. Dr. Lincoln LaPaz, an expert in meteorology and experimental balloons, played a key role in the investigations following the Roswell crash. According to documents, he worked in secret to analyze the trajectory and impact of the fallen object. His findings pointed to a military experiment involving not just high-altitude balloons, but also experimental technology that could explain the mysterious bat-like wings described by some witnesses. But the most chilling part isn't just the nature of the object. It's the rumors about the remains found at the crash site. Witnesses like Master Sergeant Lewis Rickett have hinted that there was something more. Bodies. Bodies that, according to speculation, could have been human test subjects used in extreme experiments, a dark legacy of wartime experiments pushed to the limit in the post-war era. The Roswell mystery remains a tangled web of cover-ups, experimental technology, and speculation. But one thing is clear. We don't always need to look to the stars to find horrors. Sometimes the real monsters are much closer to home. Number 1. So far we have explored some of the most chilling experiments in history. From mind control to tightly guarded military secrets, we have confronted the darkest limits of science. But there is only one thing more terrifying than experimenting with human life playing with death itself. In the number one spot, we delve into an experiment so disturbing that it combines science, obsession, and an inhuman ambition to achieve the impossible, immortality. The Nazis, 
infamously known for their ruthless disregard for ethics, pushed human experimentation to unimaginable extremes. But among all their inhumane projects, one stands out for its goal, both macabre and ambitious, unlocking the key to defeating death. This search for immortality not only marked a dark chapter in the history of science, but also left a legacy of horror that still resonates today. Obsessed with supremacy and absolute control, the Nazi regime stopped at nothing. In their pursuit of creating superhumans and invincible soldiers, they conducted experiments ranging from extreme pain resistance to tests with drugs like de-inks, a chemical cocktail that made soldiers tireless and merciless on the battlefield. But for some within the regime, that wasn't enough. They didn't just want soldiers to be stronger, they wanted them to be immortal. In 1942, German scientists began investigating what they called the death switch, a supposed function in the brain that determined the exact moment our body stopped functioning. The theory was that if this switch could be deactivated, the body could regenerate indefinitely, halting aging and making immortality possible. For their gruesome experiments, they chose an orphanage on the outskirts of Hiroshima, Japan, a remote location, conveniently far from prying eyes. The children were considered the perfect test subjects because, according to the Nazis, their death clock had not yet been activated. The experiments began with brain dissections, comparing the brains of adults and children, until they allegedly identified this function in the cerebellum. What followed was a series of horrific surgeries attempting to disable the switch. Many children died, their bodies buried in unmarked mass graves, but there was one case that changed everything. It is said that one day, they successfully removed the switch without the subject dying. A girl fell into a coma but miraculously regained consciousness the next day. From that moment on, her body would enter a death-like state each night, only to restart at dawn. But this macabre miracle came with unsettling consequences. The treated children began exhibiting strange behaviors, empty smiles, disturbing questions, and an eerie ability to predict intimate details about the lives of those around them. When the war ended, the experiments were abruptly halted, and the orphanage was abandoned. According to local legends, the immortal children were left behind, condemned to wander aimlessly in bodies that never age or die. Some claim they still haunt the place, inviting trespassers to partake in a strange and macabre game. But those who lose, never return. Unlike the other experiments on this list, the Nazi attempt to conquer death not only defied science, but also crossed the boundaries of morality and humanity. It was a project that combined technology, ideology, and the most sinister use of human life as a mere tool. The impact of this experiment did not only scar those subjected to it, but left behind a legacy of horror that continues to fuel the nightmares of our collective history. That is why it holds the darkest place on this list. But if you thought these experiments were disturbing, wait until you hear about the chilling cases where parents use their own children as test subjects. Here's the video.